Let me show you how to place a logo into a bottle in Photoshop. Start by converting the logo into a smart object to work non-destructively. Next, press Ctrl T on Windows or Command T on the Mac to transform the layer. Place the logo over the bottle and use the handles to scale the logo. I'll zoom in and pan so that we can better see what we're working with. Then right click and select Warp. Matching the correct curvature by dragging these handles could be complicated. Instead, use one of the presets. From the options bar, under Warp, select Arch. Press OK, and you can use the center handle to determine the correct curvature for your bottle. Commit the transformation when you're done. Hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on the Mac and tap on the left bracket key to activate the layer below. Or you can just click on it. But keyboard shortcuts are faster and that's what I prefer. Then duplicate the layer by pressing Control J on Windows. That's Command J on the Mac. Next, you can drag the layer to the top of the layer stack or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Hold Control on Windows or Command on the Mac and tap on the right bracket key to move the layer to the top of the layer stack. Next, desaturate the layer. You can desaturate a layer from the Adjustments menu or by using the Hue and Saturation Adjustment. Notice that when I desaturate the layer, we lose a lot of detail in the bottle. If this happens in your image, try desaturating with the Vibrance Adjustment. Notice that now I get a lot more detail in the black and white version. And that's what we want. Both commands are desaturating the layer, but they're doing it by applying different math and algorithms behind the scenes. I have a video that goes in depth on the differences between these adjustments. The link is in the description. But in short, Vibrance uses the HSV color mode based on the human perception of colors rather than computer values. Think about this gradient. If we desaturate it by using the regular human saturation adjustment, all the resulting grays will look the same because they have the same luminance values. But if we desaturate with vibrance, we can see a difference in the resulting grays. For example, blue looks darker to us than yellow, and that's what we see in the gradient. And at least in this case, using vibrance makes a big difference. Next, press Control Alt G on Windows, Command Option G on the Mac to create a clipping mask to contain the visibility of this layer to the visible pixels of the layer below. This is what this tiny arrow is indicating. Next, let's combine these layers. From the blending mode dropdown, you can select linear light, soft light, or overlay. But in this case, vivid light gives us the best results. And believe it or not, there are also keyboard shortcuts for most blending modes. Press Alt Shift V on Windows. That's Option Shift V on the Mac to apply vivid light. I would recommend memorizing the shortcuts for blending modes you most often use. Here's a list. Feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot. If the effect is too strong, press Shift and the number 7 to decrease the fill to 70%. Vivid Light is one of the 8 blending modes that gives you different results when you decrease fill instead of opacity and in most cases fill looks much better. Next, from the new adjustment layer icon, create a levels adjustment layer. Then click on this icon to clip it to the layers below. And from the properties panel, Set the black slider to off black and the white slider to off white. A real label would not have pixels that are either pure white or pure black. Everything in this workflow is editable and non-destructive. We can change anything we want. If the client updates their logo, we can easily open the smart object by double clicking on it and we can replace the contents. Once you save the smart object, the mockup will automatically update. By the way, you can download this mockup from my website. The link is in the description. Also, make sure you watch my video on the difference between saturation and vibrance. You can watch it here. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching.